I don't think that there's anything else over here. I'm wondering if they may... Ah, uh, you can see. Uh, you actually go through this lower castle area. And there's that path that's right there. It takes you to the profane capital. I don't think that there's anything else over here. No. It's just the wall. With a dead drop. see all the blood spots and everything down here. Now, there's a quite a few of these creepy little... Oh, what? Look at that. I don't think that they do a grab, so, but they do spew poison. Actually, I think they spew toxic. Try and get a look at her before I kill her. It's actually kind of reminiscent of a shrimp. Uh, you can actually see the uh, little filaments right there. I don't know what you call those on a shrimp. Uh, basically, those help a shrimp move underwater. So, and those are kind of like shrimp legs with the shrimp claws. I don't think that there's anything over here, actually. There's no illusory walls or anything like that. There's no items. So really, there's no reason to come over here. I don't know why they're there. They don't get up. There's some excrement covered ashes mm. oh lovely Estus Off. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, 
the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I have a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> So, if you remember, I've seen probably three different Estes soups across the land of Londor. And the reason is because of the lovely Mr. Siegfire. He's been traveling the land trying to get to the profaned capital. Alright, so up here... are the last of the true Silver Knights that were supposed to guard a Norlando. I'm... There's only one that I will kill, and that's him, because he will chase you. I will not kill the rest, since there are only going to be two left after I kill that one. You can see the one with the Dragon Slayer Great Bow right there. But these ones attack just like the regular knights. You can see right there he's... Uh, praising Guinevere for what, for who she is and everything like that. You can see the different... Paintings on the walls. There's a throne of Gwyn. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. And you have some keeps and everything like that. But this is the last normal place of a Norlando. blessing but you can see these ones are special they don't dis despawn whenever you kill them and also they do not respawn whenever you reload the area these are special silver knights and if I come too close to this that archer up there will shoot me and you have another silver knight right there he does not aggro on you if you come up here but he will if you go that direction. Fortunately, there is nothing on that side that I need. So I can come over here, open these, get all these items. There's Smo's Great Hammer. And then the Leo Ring from the old Dragon Slayer, Ornstein. Okay, let's see if I get invaded by the Pale Londor Shade that invaded me back in the swamp. If he does, it'll be further up the stairs right here. There's also going to be some dogs. Yep, oh, there he is. You don't want to go too fast because if you do... You're going to run into some trouble with some dogs. And there he is. Crap, 
honest. You can see he uses the dash like I was talking about. I don't think you get anything from him if you've already killed him once. Yeah, you just get an Estus back. Pull out the katana for these stupid dogs. There's a lot of dogs up here, by the way. He must have been fighting the uh, Londor Shade. I'll be able to hit that. Oh, I was. Nice. That's good. Oh. And there's the dogs. Oh! I don't remember him. of his fire. A little lower. A little higher. A little higher. Dang. I'm right on the edge of his range. Now there's going to be some more dogs, so be careful. There's another shade right there. Where's that dog at? There it is. You can see it's emitting frost. Oh, there's another dog. Crap. One more dog. Oh, there's another mage. Right behind us. Okay, and before I continue on, I'm gonna come up this. Open up a shortcut. This leads to the front of Irithyll. I think there's an item over here. No, I may be thinking of another spot. Now there's two ways that you can go through here. If you come in the main entrance right here, there's nothing special in this room, as far as I remember. Uh, so you can actually drop down this back path, which is safer. see that there's those guys right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go down there. I don't think that there's anything, but I could be wrong. Oh, frost jars. Oh, there is an item. 
the blue bug pellets. That's really not worth coming down here. It's just magic resistance. Temporary. Alright. So, here in just a second, there's going to be a Pontiff Knight with a scythe coming down these stairs. killing this one because there's oh, the hell. another knight right there that you can see there's a font of night crown that it, it looks like. It's kind of goofy. Um, get my hat back on. You can see all these summons are, signs right here. There's Gothard again, who's going up against uh, one winged angel. He has, uh, you don't have the washing pole. You're a loser. And here is Honoree. So I'll go up against Pontiff. Give him a shot solo. If I fail, I'll go summon Honoree and uh, Gothard. So let me open up this door. guys here. Open up this shortcut. This takes you to a uh, little cathedral to the right. that frost play that I was talking about. Alright, there's one down. And let me get this guy taken care of. I don't think that there's anyone else around here, so I should be safe to kill him. Now normally, if you were to rest at the bonfire upstairs and come down here, there would be a couple of the Pontiff Knights right there. Did you drop me anything? No. Dang. Gave me some Estus back though, that's good. Where are the other guys at? What? Hello? Uh, what? I'm missing a couple of Pontiff Knights right here. <laughs> and there's the magic clutch ring. Boosts damage, but decreases defense overall. There's a lightning gem. Now let me jump back up and around. They did change lightning gems. Uh, for the lightning enchant on weapons, or lightning infusions, uh, essentially now, let me do that. 
do this safely. Oh, I can't do it safely. Boop. And there's the Ring of the Firstborn Sun, which greatly increased the damage of miracles. Uh, but lightning infusions actually scale off of decks now. They're not decks. Uh, they scale off of... Um, crap, what's it called? They scale... Oh, Faith. I'm sorry. I, can, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But it's essentially uh, like a chaos infusion. You can see he's just standing there. Go! Pontiff is actually a pretty tough dude. I believe that he is actually a parryable boss as well. Oh crap. Not a good trade off. No, no, no. His little doppelganger. Crap, crap, crap. stuff. <sighs> I'm surprised I was able to beat him. I mean, I used all of my Estus to do it, but... <laughs> oh, did I ever upgrade my thing? I didn't. I still have three upgrades for it. Nice. Cool. Um, so yeah, let me head back to Firelink, and I'll show you what you get from Pontiff. Oh, so I still have the uh, stuff from the demons. Uh, but you get... That's not what I was looking for. The Great Sword of just, uh, Judgment. Which you get Stance Judgment. And essentially you shoot a beam of dark magic. I, th I think. 
Use normal attack for a lunging thrust and a strong attack to emit a side sweeping wave. So you shoot out a beam of uh, dark. Uh, a ceremonial sword held by Pontus Solvin's left hand, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Solvin's true nature. And then we have the profaned greatsword. Ceremonial sword held in Pontiff's, Pontiff Solvin's right hand, representing the profaned flame. Long ago, when Solvin was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profaned capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithyll, and a burning ambition took root within him. It's theorized that Pontiff is actually the one who talked uh, Prince Lothric into not kindling the flame. Which is why the world is the way it is right now. Uh, anything else that I needed? Do I have anything to upgrade? I'd need two more Titanite scales to upgrade my Hollow Slayer Greatsword. I need Titanite chunks to upgrade my katana. I might be able to upgrade my bow. Other than that, that'll be it for now. I don't think that there's anything else. Uh, next time I'm gonna be, I should be looking into getting Cirrus's quest line done. I think I'm able to do that now. I may have to beat uh, Aldrich first. I'm not sure. So for now, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.